Ah, there you are. Managed to hire some ushers. Wonderful. That's one matter resolved. Wanted to talk about the text itself. Hmm. It's not at all badly written. In fact, I quite like it. I was willing to relax my standards to help Dudu, but we may have something very interesting here. I've very clear ideas who to cast as the servant, the witcher and the queen, but I'm not certain who should play the prince and the princess. Who is playing the witcher? An amateur. It'll be my first time working with him, but I'm confident he'll pull it off. Newcomer to the troupe? In a sense. Oh, stop pretending you don't know. I'm talking about you. I'm no actor. Might not have noticed, but I'm a little low on emotional expression. But that's perfect. After all, you're to play the Witcher, not the Princess. Besides, you must appear on stage. Dudu must see you. It's the crux of this entire endeavor. You're right. Just never thought I'd have to do something like this. You'll be fine, dear. You need only strut on stage, great sword in hand, furl your brow, make some threatening faces, then deliver a few lines in a gravelly voice. Think you can manage? So, about the princess. Small part, but an important one. Any idea who could play her? Priscilla would be the obvious choice. She's young and beautiful. Yet... I do have more stage experience. Let's have Priscilla do it. No offense, but uh, most people... Assign greater importance to appearance than to talent. I understand. I shall let her know. I'm certain she'll be wonderful. So who do you see playing the Doppler Prince? I'm finding it hard to decide between two candidates. Abelard Ritzer would be the safer bet. He's been part of our troupe for ages, has flawless technique, but he doesn't exactly captivate the crowds. Who's your other option? Maxim Bolia, outstanding actor, and audiences love him, but sadly I can never be sure he'll show up sober, or that he'll show up at all. Let's risk it and give the role to Maxim. He's had a good spell of late, so maybe he won't let us down. All right, got the cast figured out. It seems so. Prepared to plunge headlong into your career as a mama? We can start now. Looked over the script, out of curiosity. We can start any time, even now. Well, we've no time to lose. Come to the stage. Zoltan, what are you doing here? <laughs> Prissy told me you ought to put on a play. Were you playing the lead? I'm not the lead. Oh, I thought to myself, I'd sooner shave my beard than miss that. Tell me, Witcher, are you going to wear a hose and a codpiece? Come, Geralt, you must focus your mind before you go on stage. Good luck. Ladies and gentlemen, most honorable citizens of the hallowed city of Novigrad, welcome. We have for you an exquisite comedy. It's titled The Doppler's Salvation. The players, Witcher Geralt as himself, Katarina as the queen, Leo Rybe as the humble servant, appearing as the prince, the delight of audiences far and wide, Maxime Bollier. And as the princess, the lovely Trebaritz with the voice of a nightingale, Priscilla.
Majesty, the Monster Slayer awaits. Your summons he's answered and stands at the gates. Show him in. I must speak to the man. But first, some wine to steady my hand. <laughs> Witcher, your task is a matter most tender. Her monster shall show a tonight's feastly splendor. Stand guard, beware, kill the beast if he shows. Your reward you'll receive on my finest pillows. To slay beasts most foul, twas for this I was made. I kill as my calling, not just to get paid. He swallowed the bait, this fool of a witcher. I'll ensure the foul bow reveals his true figure. The monster revealed, the witcher shall strike. The beast will he slay, thrust his head on a pike. Ah, oh, my child will pity her love, this beast. Though at least ere he goes, he'll enjoy a last feast. Gathered are we, a host fair and noble, to celebrate this day, the princess's betrothal. Alas, no monster do I see or hear. Perhaps midst the guests he hides in fear. My dear, long have we hid our love's tender fires. Months I held back my loins' heart desires. Tonight shall it end. Be my wife, that's my plea. And then I shall pluck your ripe virginity. <laughs> Oh, darling, I will, I will, I will! Wait, with wine must we toast this moment joyful. If not, a foul curse shall rend your lives woeful. Ah! Tis not wine, but a brew spiked with silver. My bowels contract a foul beast to deliver. Hark, hark, tis no prince, but a Doppler imposter. Seems men's hearts can love for changelings foster. Behold, Witcher, the beast of which I spoke. Unleash your sword, let fly the killing stroke. Stop, stop, beast or man! Tis my love, my betrothed. Sheath your blades, fear a Doppler. Tis a thing most foolish. Changing one's shape does not make one ghoulish. Remember, tis not flesh a monster makes. But a lack of morals. And a surfeit of cakes. <coughs> Witcher, tis true. This wretch's foul suspicions. Tainted my mind with this plan so malicious. The Doppler must live. My daughter he'll wed. Beast or man, she loves him truly without dread. Tis our tale's end, good folk. And its moral is this. No monster is he whose shape can shift. The Witcher is just a true Doppler's friend. But you, foul page, in chains you shall end. Guard! Call the guard! Remove the traitor at once! Hey, hear the princess's command. Come up here. Come on then, governor. Up you go. On stage. Toss the tray, I storm in the dungeon!
Don't be afraid. In the end, everyone will live happily ever after. Doppler and Princess wed the same night. The servant's heart melted. He wept at the sight. Doppler's to the stake! Burn them all! Give it a rest, mate. Can't you see it's all in fun? This is a comedy. A ghoul could play the prince. Light it up, for God's sake. Greetings, Dudu. Heard about that souvenir Horson left on your face. So, you know everything? Have you seen Siri? No. Still looking for her. Geralt! Masterful! You did great. Haven't they laughed that hard in ages? Lads won't believe it when I tell them. Explain one thing to me. How do you and Dandelion manage to displease Reuven, Horson, and the temple guard all at the same time. It's not as if we planned it. <laughs> I know Siri went back to Horson's to get you. How'd you manage to escape? I ran after her, wanting to keep up, but I'd have been a hindrance. She called out to me and treated me to shapeshift and disappear. I tried to find them, Siri and Dandelion. It was as if they turned to vapor. Fearing for my life, I shifted each day, becoming someone else. Even considered turning into Siri to trick her pursuers, but... Slow down, Marmalade. Hmm. Geralt, when did you last see Cirilla? Hmm? Been a while, hasn't it? A while, yeah. For me, likewise. Must be a full-grown lass by now. Do, do, do us a wee favor. Show Siri for a moment. Geralt? Transform. Change into her. I feel strange. Both of you staring at me bug-eyed. Is that enough? Yeah. Plenty. Bad idea. Not angry with me, are you, Geralt? No. I feel relieved. And Dandelion? Were you able to find him? Witch hunters nabbed him, but there's good news too. Menga's dead. Ugh. A fiend. Good thing someone finally killed it. Though another, just as bad or worse, would likely take its place. Wouldn't be so quick to assume. Got a feeling it could be a decent fellow. What's he talking about? We think we can free Dandelion. Just need your help. What could I do? Take on Menga's appearance. Then go and give the order for Dandelion to be moved to Oxenford. We'll lie in ambush in a ravine en route. Spring Dandelion from the convoy when it rolls by. Wait, not so fast. How am I to be Menga? And I've no notion where Dandelion's being held. Dandelion's on Temple Isle, imprisoned there. You'll need to find out exactly where. But what if they grow suspicious? Start asking questions. I'll bet my best axe no one will pester the commander of the Temple Guard. Besides, you're a Doppler and an actor, and an actor and a Doppler. You could double the spark to improvise your way out of any situation. If things get spicy, you'll just nip round the corner and transform into a buxom wench, a, a jackdaw, or whatever else strikes your fancy. Of course, it's that simple. Thanks. No one knows Menga's dead. No need to worry about being exposed. No one save you. 
Would this have anything to do with the fire at the witch hunter's barracks? We were in the area. <laughs> I sorely regret not seeing that. Listen, you'll manage. Everybody believes Menga's missing. You can make up any story you want. My lads and me will lie in ambush in the ravine. Geralt will then join us and we'll await word from you. But how am I to contact you as Menga? Send word that the convoy's left. You'll need to figure that out. Come on, Kyle's your middle name. So, we all clear? Dudu, get your ass to Temple Isle. I'm off to assemble my crew. And we'll be waiting for you, Geralt. Yeah, see you in the ravine. Whoa, wait! Hold on! What happens after? I, I hope you don't expect me to continue as Menga, live like Chappelle, burning the occasional heretic to keep up appearances? No. Once it's over, we expect to see you at the Rosemary in time, where we'll all meet. To get pissed like wild badgers. So, settled, let's get to work. Not bad. Not bad at all, for your first time out. Just a few minor trip-ups. The performance in general, what did you think? I doubt the audience understood it all, but that's to be expected. I'm just pleased the Puffins got the word out. That was quite the crowd. Such a shame Maxim went on stage inebriated after all. Some of the crowd demanded refunds. Here you are. Your fee. I must admit your style of mumming, well, it's quite minimalist. Did you study anywhere? At Kaer Morhen. Minimum expression means maximum effect. Thanks for the coin. Take care now.